my sweet lions and lionesses, my fabulous lions and lionesses, as I love to call you. Guys, I missed you. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. So you want a soulmate reading? That's what we're going to do. First part of this video, we're going to ask what's coming towards you, Leo. What do you be dealing with facing? How to best handle it for your highest good? Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. We're going to ask what's going on with them, how they are relating to you at this time emotionally, and what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling. Yeah, let's do this, Leo. Universe, please step in show very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, what's coming towards Leo? What will Leo be dealing with facing and how to best handle it for the highest good? What is coming towards Leo, Universe? Fabulous lions. Oh, you have extra wanting to come out. Let's do this. Wow, this is you feeling very strong. So there's something you focused on right now in your life that you are determined to be successful at. Wow, job. Look at this. Your job is showing up here. Your job is showing up here. Your business, your job. You are determined to be successful at something. Trying to make a decision. You will see clearly what it is you need to do. Your beautiful sun is showing up here, which represents Leo, by the way. So if you feel confused right now or unclear on how to proceed, that's heavily weighing on your mind right now that you feel you need to make a decision on and you will have to. Uh, don't uh, stress yourself out because you will see clearly at the right time, the, believe in divine timing, at the right time you will see clearly what it is you need to do if you proceed with action A or action B, left or right. Oh, I'm happy. Chariot victory showing up here. You're going to make the right decision. The, the key word is here not to rush to make that decision. Look how beautiful this is. This is your victorious energy. So you will, it's weighing heavily on you. So for a lot of you, it has to do with work. For some of you, with your soulmate. This is beautiful energy showing up of victory. A lot of you are dealing with a soulmate. That's a fire sign like you, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Cancerian, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's see the extra. Yeah, new beginning. So you are embarking on a new beginning. You're taking a leap of faith and you believe that this is for your highest good. This is beautiful. I'm loving this energy for you. Let's do this. Let's see more detail. The more detail, the better. Universe, what's coming towards Leo? What will Leo be dealing with facing and how to best handle it? For the highest good. Oh, how did that happen? Somebody's dog just entered my private yard. That's weird. Anyway, let me continue with the reading. Um, yeah, you're trying to make a decision. So twos are about trying to make a decision, especially two of ones, two of pentacles, also two of swords. But I'm not crazy about two of swords because two of swords feels like frozen energy. Um, so you showing up here as taking your time, you're being wise, you're not rushing into anything like crazy, you are being wise, grounded energy, good, don't rush into anything. Yeah, you see, you are the manifester, you're going to manifest something solid, you're working towards something that will make your life easier. This is good, you are manifesting something, you are in control, you are in power, you are in control of your own future. This is beautiful. Um, a lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, also Gemini. Wow. Yeah, you see, this is the magic word here, taking your time in making that decision at the right time, not rushing in. So this is you stepping back, uh, making appropriate plans. You're not jumping the gun like crazy. So you are being very wise beautiful i'm absolutely loving this ten of pentacles look at this this is prosperity making right decisions being victorious also a lot of you have some great ideas to make your work better your job better your business better and you're going to be successful 
trust your ideas and keep being proactive. Yeah, and use that wisdom that you have here not to rush in. Yeah, be patient with yourself. This is very good. Don't let uh, people confuse you telling you how you should handle things. Listen to your own sound judgment. Yeah, this is good. This is messages, back and forth messages. Receiving a communication of some importance to you about something. Yeah, <laughs> victory, victorious energy twice. Six of wands with chariot. So you're going to be victorious at this task that you are concentrating on so deeply. For some of you, it's your job, your investments, business. And for some of you, it's your soulmate. Beautiful. You're learning uh, lessons through this. You're balancing karmic debts through this and learning important lessons. So you're learning patience also. You're learning to pace yourself, not to rush in and make rush decisions and mistakes. When people rush in too fast uh, because they haven't learned patience, they usually make mistakes. You are wise. You're applying wisdom to this. This is beautiful. The world card. A lot of you are dealing with another Leo, also Taurus. Wow. You may have some people disagreeing with you. Leo, do not pay attention what they think. Uh, you have the right to make your own decisions. You are an adult. You don't owe anybody any explanations. Don't, don't try to tell, don't try to let people tell you that, oh, I don't think this is going to work. Uh, who cares what they think? You, you have wisdom here. Apply that wisdom accordingly and you will make right decisions. Don't let anybody discourage you with their confused energy because they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, look at this. This is you being solid, solid at your job, at your business, solid. This is you being the master at your task, detailed. Yeah, you don't need to be micromanaged. Wow. For some of you, this is a soulmate connection. There is silence right now, not much communication for a lot of you with your soulmate, but there will be something more developing here. You're going to make wise decisions. You're not going to rush in like a fool. Beautiful. This is you. Beautiful energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This is you in charge, in control of your own life, your own destiny, making wise decisions. This is you as a king whether you're male or female. Beautiful. Wow, I'm loving this. So you're embarking uh, on a new journey that has to do with finances, business, success. This is beautiful. Profit, making wise financial decisions uh, for the future. Also making wise planning when it comes to uh, investments. Yeah, so not only are you going to be or are, already financially independent, secure, but you're making wise decisions on how to invest that money. So it continues growing. Um, this is beautiful. I'm loving this. Let me clarify this. For Leo's highest good, love your energy. Beautiful. For a lot of you, there will be reconciliation uh, between you and your soulmate, meaning you're going to be on more peaceful terms, understand each other better. Yeah, after stress and dilemma. Yeah, this is beautiful. This is a lot of you will be not only communicating but seeing your soulmates, spending time with them. This is beautiful. Celebrating something, laughing together, spending time together, emotions, feelings showing up here. This is awesome. I'm curious to see what shows up from them towards you, Leo. Oh, I'm loving your reading. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo. For Leo's highest good, please. Universe, the soulmate of Leo. The soulmate of Leo. What is going on with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo currently relating to Leo? Especially emotionally. And what's on their mind? The soulmate of Leo. This person is very frisky towards you. So this person wants to see you, communicate with you. This is my favorite page, page of pentacles, communication of significant nature, like uh, 
telephone conversations, not text messaging, because that's that's for kids. Uh, text messaging is nothing serious. Um, you need to communicate either on the phone or face to face. So this person wants to, is eager to, yeah, they only interested in you. It shows up like, yeah. So even if you guys have had issues communicating, this person is not releasing you. This person cares for you. They're curious to see what's going to happen. A lot of you are dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, also Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, this person loves you. Look at this. Um, but it shows here that they worry about you being consistent with communication. they observing you, watching you, studying you. This person is waiting to see if your communication will be consistent, um, steady. Yeah, you see? Here is a uh, night of once, twice, which often represents inconsistencies. Uh, <coughs> energy that's not grounded. Wow, this person is heavily concentrating on business finances. Uh, some of them are very successful business owners. This is beautiful energy. This person is heavily concentrating on money. All these pentacles, one, two, three, four, five pentacle cards. A lot of you are dealing with Cancerian and Virgo. Another pentacle card. Look at this. Two of cups and five of pentacles. So this person misses you a lot. When you're not communicating with them or you guys not communicating together, this person misses you a lot because they care for you emotionally. You guys are different though. Some of you may be very different backgrounds, maybe nationalities, but who cares? It, there is a true love connection here showing up. Ooh, this person, <laughs> this person is really trying to be patient. Yeah, this is about patience. They really exercising patience. Uh, they don't want to lose their cool. Yeah, you see, they not releasing you, not letting you go. This person is serious about you. Four of Pentacles twice. Ooh. They overanalyze too much. This person, I don't know what sign they are for you. Well, all signs are showing up here. But they showing up as overanalyzing too much. They worry excessively. They worry too much. Too much uh, blockage showing up here. They also want to see you. Yeah, they don't like to fight, argue. Ooh, this person told you off in the past. Um, problems with communication that are significant between the two of you. This person was not happy with inconsistent communication. A lot of you are dealing with the Virgo, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, also Cancerian, Sagittarius. This person was not happy with inconsistent communication. So they, what they showing up as is very loving towards you, but observing you, how you're going to act communicate with them if it's going to be consistent and they're going to judge this connection and future of this connection based on how you are communicating with them interesting wow they love you a lot look at this ten of cups yeah they feel major changes coming transformation to this connection change is always for the better uh, that's how we grow that's how we learn through change if we don't uh, if we resist change, uh, we're not going to learn anything. We're not going to grow emotionally or spiritually. So change is absolutely necessary. Yeah, but they they overanalyzing too much. They worry too much. Yeah, this person is overanalyzing. Very loving towards you. Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about your soulmate's current true long-term intentions and plans for you at this time anything they hiding from you at this time whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you not just how to handle this soulmate connection at this time but anything else you need to know about your life whether it's your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know 
they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.